Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays back in some more Dragon Ball Legends news and content here on the channel. Very excited for another video and breakdown for all the news. We got more data uh, actually that was downloaded. A lot of stuff that we didn't actually get in uh, the actual reveal from yesterday. So uh, this is pretty important that you guys uh, do kind of watch this video. Uh, I'm not going to go super in-depth with every single little nook and cranny and detail and all that. Uh, if you do want like the best breakdowns and uh, probably just the best overall takes on the game, you know, people who actually know what they're talking about, I'll definitely, um, you know, link down Goresh as well as D3. They're the ones that usually got all the details down and everything. I'm just here to just kind of show you guys what's really going on. For those of you that um, are, I guess, <laughs> a little bit slower, uh, including me, I'm a little bit slower myself. So if you guys just want, you know, just basic info, uh, that's why I'm here. I'm just going to give you guys the news and talk about a couple of things in this. And, um, you know, I'm just excited to talk about some more uh, Legend stuff. This anniversary is already hype. So uh, the new Clash Bonds Transcending Time and Space is, uh, I believe, live right now. Uh, you're going to have to update your game for it and everything. But um, it seems to be a... Looks like Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Future Trunks. I think that's what it means by Bonds Transcending Time and Space. Because obviously those are the new characters. Uh, I guess it's going to be an actual like story event. So this will be lasting from uh, today. Depending on you know your time zone and everything. Uh, until the 15th of July. So that's a very long time uh, that we actually have to actually do this event. So uh, basically you just progress through the story, you have two different sections it branches off into. So it looks like, yes, it is an actual like story. So this is similar to um, what we had before from last year for the one year anniversary, which was uh, the Super Warriors versus Gods, which again, this is similar concept. Uh, we have like, you know, the DBZ uh, initially where it was DBZ versus Dragon Ball Super, now it's Dragon Ball GT versus Dragon Ball Super, and in a way, you know, it mixes together, like, it's a boiling pot, it's amazing, so, uh, you play through chapter one of the story and choose between Trunks, uh, his route or Goku's route, so, uh, depending on which one you choose, you get titles earned from, you know, obviously, each one, so, uh, Guiding the Future and Bearer of Hope. So Bearer of Hope is for Goku and Guiding Future is for uh, Turunks. So um, after this, I believe uh, you join in on a co-op raid battle. So the co-op raid battle, this is what, um, you know, was kind of that weird thing where I felt like the info was a little bit weird on it uh, initially. But obviously uh, people did point out it's pretty much exactly like if you did, if you have played Xenoverse 2. Uh, raid bosses the raid bosses on that where they just have a ridiculously large amount of HP but it you know definitely decreases uh, slowly but surely over time as uh, you know more people play it because this is a worldwide thing so it's like the entire world the entire planet earth spirit bomb style uh, can battle through and um, I believe once this actually is defeated once he is actually defeated I'll make Shenron is you cannot participate in this so you want to do it as soon as possible so uh, after you progress up to chapter 4 of the story, uh, uh, you can join the co-op raid battle. So, uh, you have to get to that point. Um, I guess, uh, at maximum right there, he's got like, what is, what is that? 32, like, billion or something health or some shit? I don't know, dude. That's, that's absolutely absurd. <laughs> it was like 32 trillion or something, but... Um, yeah, what is the co-op raid battle? So you combine forces with players worldwide to take out the raid boss. In this event battle, you will cooperate with other players to defeat uh, the raid boss and the powerful battle system. Or sorry, the battle system is the same as hyperdimensional co-op. So again, similar concept and everything. Uh, he's going to be, I guess, uh, up to level 5,000. Uh, all panels up to Godling Unlock, Limit Break, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's pretty much just like a, a co-op hyper-dimensional raid battle with a massive amount of HP. You get, obviously, some nice items and everything as well. Um, obviously, you want to just try to play this. Me just kind of talking about it and explaining it doesn't really do it justice. I think playing it will be a lot more fun. Like I said, it's going to function exactly like the co-op uh, battles and stuff. So, uh, there you go. Raid Boss Strikes. This is actually really cool to see. I'm glad that they're implementing this officially. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm down for it. This is going to be pretty exciting. So, now for the big stuff. We actually have gameplay. Gameplay. I don't know how this gameplay was already, you know, revealed and everything. But uh, this is from the at DV Legends uh, JPN site. So we have the first initial gameplay of Vegito Blue that you can actually see some more in-depth detail. Uh, by the way, the color is wrong. Vegito Blue is blue. He's a blue color type, 100% blue color type. I'm gonna you know show you guys all that too. But uh, right here, 
as you can see with his um, green card, is actually uh, kind of like a, a savage strike, or I guess the punch that he does to Zamasu. Uh, if you ever, you know, obviously you've watched the, the anime, or uh, I guess a better reference would be the dramatic uh, finish that he has with Fuse Zamasu in uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. That one right there where he does like that punch, um, it seems to, I can't even read it. it the, the quality is so bad. Hopefully, you know, there's another bit of gameplay on it, but it's just so bad I can barely read what it actually does. Sustained something. It says something right there, but that's his green card. Uh, here is his final Kamehameha. So this one right here, I think, is his legendary finish, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, that is definitely it. Let me see here. Yes, okay. Yep, legend. Yep, it's a LF. Yeah, it is a legendary finish. So we already kind of knew that. Um, we already pretty much knew that at that point. Here is, yeah, this is definitely, yeah, it's all modded. <laughs> it's all modded. So this is a, this is a, a GIF, GIF, whatever. Jiffy peanut butter, GIF peanut butter. Uh, this right here is uh, Omega Shenron's minus energy power ball or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, he modded it over his cell. I'm not going to lie, that kind of looks late. Sell, sell with the Dragon Balls. That actually looks freaking hype, bro. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay, so this right here is another GIF. Okay, so this is him. Okay, so this is his victory pose. So he's just like, you know, looking like a badass and stuff. So that's what happens after you win. Um, what is this one right here? Oh, Super Saiyan 4. Okay, excellent. Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So this seems to be... Uh, is this his ultimate right here? Let me see here. Or is that the green card? That's the green card. Okay, so this is the green card. He charges in. He does... Whoa, okay. So he does like a grab and he throws them by the head. Christ, okay. Uh, let me see actually what that does. So, the green card um, restores key, I guess. And then, uh, what does it do right here? Impact resistance down. Okay, so uh, restores key and impact resistance down, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty good, pretty good. So, yeah, that's his green card, uh, or quirk skill, as they like to call it. Here is uh, Zamasu, Fuse Zamasu. So, that seems to be, uh, I think, his. I'm assuming his green card right there. You see it again? Okay, so that does reduce key. Hold on. It's, it, there's so much that goes. You have to, like, do it, like, you got to play-by-play it. So, reduce key, and then you restore key. Nullify all attribute downgrades. Holy crap. And, oh, God, I, it said something about penetrate there. <laughs> Hold on, I got to see that again. Penetrate sustained damage cut. Okay. So, that seems to be, I think, his quirk, his, uh, his green card or whatever. And then after that, he's got his... Uh, ultimate attack as well which is quite nice uh, after using the main ability so this right here okay new gogeta yes a new base form gogeta i think it's an ex uh this one right here seems to just be exactly the same i don't think there's anything different from him he still has okay so he charges up there and yeah he still has stardust rain it's it's exactly the same i mean whatever whatever you want to call it so uses this and restores key, strike damage up, and inflicted damage up as well. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. So that's his green card, and then uh, I guess his you know special move or special attack or whatever is uh, still Stardust Rain. So yeah, new EX Gogeta. Uh, I find that quite funny though. Uh, we got us Gogeta fans got cucked bad. Like <laughs> they said, they said, okay, we'll give you Vegito Blue. We'll give you Gogeta Blue. You know, we'll, we'll give you one of these, you know, we'll give you one of these. That's what they gave us. And they said, Here, here's an like EX base form. Um, that is absolutely hilarious, I'm not going to lie. So, unfortunately, there's no audio on any of this. But here, ooh, he looks, ooh, he looks, oh, damn, I'm about to nut right now. Look at, the, look at this man's combos. He's just going for barrages of punches, dude. Holy crap, hola, hold on, let me say that again. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, get in there. Okay, so it gets like, I guess the video itself just like freezes really bad recording on this um but i mean it's modded it's definitely modded god look at him just eat the health okay so his uh main ability holy crap hold on. oh my god i just gotta i guess gotta see this again man oh my goodness dude inflicted damage up health restoration down this man is getting destroyed so it heals him restores key heals 315 right there bro he gets a shit ton of health like look at his health before he gets a pretty good amount of health right there hold on when he does his main ability Oh, look at, that. look at that. That's a pretty good amount of health that you get from that after just using that. Like, he's already OP, and he's just going to come through. Okay, so he comes through, and he just destroys. Oh, my God. Again, he's blue. He's not purple, yellow, or whatever it was showing there. So, okay, so initial 
So this is what it's going to be. If it is not the last opponent slash last opponent with like lower HP or whatever, depending on who you're fighting, uh, it's going to be a final Kamehameha for his ultimate, for his ultimate skill move. So it, it'll just be that and then it'll just kind of end up through that. But if you get the LF, he's going to do the instant transmission and he's going to teleport and then do the Savage Strike, which is, again, it's kind of similar to the Niagara Pummel, except it's just one big massive hit, and there's the LF right there. There's the backflip, and he's like, bitch, please, like, <laughs> oh my god, that is so epic. I I absolutely adore that, but look at this man eat his health, and this is, this is against, uh, you know, the res resistance. I don't know if it's because it's modded, if it's any more powerful, but, like, this, this Zamasu is, you know, resistant to this type because he's the dark version of it. He's the evil version. So, motherfucker just like, what the hell? What the fuck, dude? Look at this! Look at this! The final Kamehameha looks so good. Oh, my God. He just absolutely destroys him. IT in for that. Or teleport, because if I say instant transmission, so I'd be like, ah, <laughs> But yeah, that is amazing. Legendary finish, bro. Like, let's go. Let's freaking go. Okay, so that was him. Okay, here's the Trunks. Oh, I love this Trunks aura. Okay, so looks like the main ability, obviously, is going to give him an ultimate. Uh, let me see those combos here. Oh, he, does, oh, he does big damage, too. My God. Okay, so his attack is weird. Okay, uh, not, I don't want to say weird. I mean, I think, I'm pretty sure it's, it was from the anime. Can't remember every single detail from the anime and stuff, but... Uh, cancel attribute, uh, what did that say? Uh, hold on, let me see. Cancel attribute, up, upgrade, upgrade, what is that? Upgrades, okay, so that's what that says. Okay, so he goes for a charge in, he does like a back hit, and then a dragon throw? And then he goes for like a burning attack, like, thing. I don't even, it, it's very reminiscent of, um, my god, that does, that does a lot of damage, dude. Oh my god. It just looks epic. Look at that. Man does a back hit. And he just throws him up and, or not, uh, not, no, he throws him to the side. It's almost kind of like Heat Dome Attack, but a horizontal version. <laughs> it's like a horizontal Heat Dome Attack. That's pretty much what it is. So, Tomasu looks like, I guess he restores health as well uh, throughout the match. Like a little bit of health too, which, I mean, makes sense. You know, he's a regen, motherfucker. All right, blast them to oblivion. That is, uh, oh, it, oh, it destroys a card too. Okay, so it destroys a card, which is quite nice. Okay. Okay, what is this right here? Uh, is this something extra? He just switched into Vegeta. I don't know, this video is 45 seconds long. Let me see what he actually does here. Okay, so he switches into... Okay, so... Alright, what is this? Okay, here are the combos that you can actually see. Combos are pretty solid. He goes for just all the punches. Ooh, his windscreen is cool. My man, my man took a screenshot. He said, you better screenshot that shit. The truth style. So... I think that's all of the major info for every single uh, one of the characters. Uh, Omega Shenron, again, isn't really... I, I, I apologize to any Omega Shenron fans, but he's the character that not many people care about. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Okay, uh, let's break down the actual character right here. So here he is, Legends Limited. He is uh, LL, or LF, whatever. He's blue! He is blue! All right, before anyone's like, ah, he's, he's not blue. Yeah, he's blue. He's an actual blue character. So there you go. Enjoy. Um... Stat wise, let's compare it to the uh, the one from last year, the Super Vegito, as well as the new one, the transforming one. So, uh, transformed, uh, power 10, 25, 2, uh, 1, 2, okay, 1. Let me just kind of compare these. So, this one is still really good after transformation. Uh, this one is getting a little bit outdated. I mean, he's still good. He's still damn good. Like, I still use him. So this is the one from last year. This is from the one year anniversary. So he only has about like 23k health. Now this one right here, he's pretty balanced. So this, the new VB is uh, 9k power on that, 24k health, uh, 2k strike attack, 1k strike defense, blast attack, uh, blast defense. I mean, I don't think he's like super OP, 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 but I mean, he's definitely good. Like this Vegito right here, I think this transforming Vegito, I mean, obviously after being transformed is really good, but this is like your like your most, this is like the balanced versions out of the three, you know? I know we have the free-to-play one as well, which is you know, obviously great. Uh, unfortunately, there, uh, because it was just a data download, it doesn't show all the little details and everything, but uh, plus 17% for the Z ability uh, to tag Fusion Warrior and uh, to tag, what is this here? 
Oh no, this is the same thing. The <laughs> same thing. Okay, so uh, stage two here will be God Q. Uh, God Q? Why did I say God Q? Plus 22% God Key. Uh, and then at stage three for Z ability, you have 28% for future tag. And then it goes to plus 38. So he's gonna be he's he's gonna be benefiting your fusion warrior, your god key, and your future tag. So all these characters right here are going to benefit from uh, the new Vegito, the new v VB. So Vegito's amazing. All right, he's gonna be great. Here is Fusion Zamasu. Here, uh, here are the stats and everything. Again, I'm not gonna go super in depth with everything, but I mean they're all gonna be super OP and extremely powerful. They're amazing. Um, so his right here, I'm just gonna kind of go through it. I'm not gonna, you know, break down every single nook and cranny, but he's going to be uh, for the Z ability boost and future tag, God key, uh, powerful opponent, and yeah. So future tag, the God key tag, and the powerful opponent tag, uh, boosting all these characters, just a plethora, a plethora, a ridiculous amount. New trunks, oh my God, he looks good. So uh, he's yellow. I'm so excited about that. Man's got 25k health. He's got the health, dude. So he's going to be benefiting more in Blast over Strike. So that's, I mean, I guess that's good. Uh, I don't really, I think most Trunks usually is, like, Strike damage. I could be wrong. Um, let's go ahead and see this here. So uh, Defense, uh, Shot Rate, Tag Future. Then it's going to be the Vegeta Family, Vegeta Family, Vegeta Family. So uh, Future Tag, Vegeta Family. And that's pretty much it. So this Trunks is going to be your future boy, your yellow future boy, and your uh, a solid solid Vegeta family tag, uh, finally, for, for yellow. This was the character that we needed for it. We needed a new yellow one because I think before, I think it was just like the GT, the GT Vegeta. I can't remember uh, any other, like, more recent yellow. Maybe God Vegeta, Super Saiyan God Vegeta, but that one's old too. But yeah, GT Vegeta and God Vegeta were kind of like your Vegeta family yellow units. And I don't think Trunks really had any, so there you go. That's pretty good. Uh, the new Super Saiyan 4, full power Goku. Full power. God damn it. <laughs> so funny. Uh, this one right here, gonna get be benefiting with the GT tag and Saiyan. So GT and Saiyan, uh, tons of characters, obviously, as always. Uh, he's gonna be good. He's gonna be solid. God, those stats are great. I would say that Trunks is probably he's looking to be in terms of like just the stats that I'm seeing. He looks to be the weakest. Yeah, this the Vegito Blue is the most. He looks to be the most balanced in that aspect. Uh, also, Super Saiyan 4 Goku looks pretty balanced as well. He looks pretty good too. Omega Shenron, uh, Omega Shenron, uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty, he's pretty good, he's not too shabby, he ain't too shabby, he's gonna be bulky more than anything, I think, uh, let's see here, he is giving you GT tag, regen, so GT and regen, okay, pretty solid, pretty solid, alright, let's go and check out the new EX, the EX units, extreme Gogeta, yes, so at least we get a Gogeta, he's gonna be red, so, uh, this is kind of similar to the one, I think, in, uh, Dokkan. Remember the free-to-play Dokkan one? I was really hoping he was gonna be a sparking or something, but I, I guess because it's just base form. Uh, he's, he is bad in Blast, so you want to just benefit from Strike damage or whatever. He'll get health. I mean, he's still good. You know, he's still good. Definitely solid. Uh, Fusion Warrior and just tag Fusion. Okay, so Fusion and Fusion Warrior is gonna be his, uh, main benefits here with it pretty limited pretty limited but hey we got a base gogeta to go with the base vegeta now now he's got a buddy he's got a buddy uh i love his art he looks awesome the art looks phenomenal a new buff trunks dude let's go so uh purple buff trunks i'll take it uh this one is hella bad i'm just joking he's not bad he's just meh. compared to like gogeta you know he's just like meh you know he's just meh uh vegeta family and hybrid saiyan he's gonna be boosting those so Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful on that. Very excited for another buff trunks. Obviously, it's an extreme unit. Final Flash Vegeta. Yes, yes. Again, stats aren't going to be amazing, but they're extreme units, so it's to be expected. Uh, he will be giving you that Vegeta family boost as well as... That's it. He's just Vegeta family. I mean, it's Vegeta, so it's pretty solid. Uh, lit. He's green. He's going to be green. Excellent. Excellentes. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so a Sin, another Sin Shenron. This one is just going to be a blue extreme one. So, look at this. Is that like SR 
AGL one from Dokkan. Oh god, he is shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's just bad. Dude, Sin Shenron is- I mean, he's not supposed to be good. Uh, GT and Shadow Dragon. Okay. Shadow Dragon is not a good tag right now. That is not a good tag, in my opinion, but... There you go. Enjoy for all you Sin Shenron Omega Shenron fans. Weird thing. We got a new Videl, uh, Hercule, and Tal. I don't know why, but hero units are finally getting more units. I guess they were just like, oh, okay, we need to give these weaker characters uh, hero units. So Red Videl, she's she's almost as good as this Shenron. <laughs> Be honest, she just lacks some blast. Like she's almost as good as that. Uh, hero tag. So she's just boosting hero tag. Yeah, meh, whatever. Yeah, Videl, yay! All you Videl fans. I mean, these guys are mediocre. I love this uh, Mr. Satan, though. He's doing the, the peace sign kind of thing. Oh, he is. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this shit. Rest in peace, Herschel. Holy shit, that is horrible. Oh, my God. What am I talking about? He's going to be fucking broken. This is the most broken unit. Look at that. He's so good. Um, Majin Buu. <laughs> Majin Buu tag. Okay. So, if you need a booster from for Buu units, uh, for whatever reason, there you go. Oh my god, look at this man with his pedo stash. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, that was a blue Mr. Satan. Here's a yellow towel. Finally get a hero towel, like, that is garbage like that. Uh, oh my god, he's actually damn good. He's not too, he's not too, I mean, I guess, can, after looking at that, oh my god. Holy shit. Uh, tag hero. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I mean, hero unit's never gonna be good. Oh god, look at this man. Oh, look at this man. Ah! That is beautiful. This is... Oh my god, let me just... We're just gonna end off at this right here. <laughs> We're just gonna end off here. So, there you have it, my friends, my little breakdown. Uh, I just wanted to talk about all these characters. I know the video was long, but... Um... We're gonna be doing more legends, more legends. So subscribe and ring that notification bell for more shit because I love, I like this game. It's fun, and you guys seem to really like these videos too, and I, I really do enjoy them. So uh, stay tuned, and thank you all so much. Stay safe out there, and uh, best of luck whenever these banners actually drop. Oh.